All right, well, listen, thank you guys very much for uh, tuning tuning back in uh, and taking time out to watch one of my videos. I do appreciate it. And I want to give a shout-out to all my subscribers out there. Thank you so much for subscribing, my recent subscribers, my old subscribers. I do appreciate it. And uh, so we'll just go ahead and look at this Xbox 360 here because I want to talk about this unit. I want to talk about it in a sense where I'm kind of... Um, I'm confused about it. Uh, uh, it's an enigma. It's a mystery. I really don't know what to make of it. So that's why I'm doing a video about it. So, or maybe it's just me and, and these units are out there and I just, I never came across one. But this one right here, <clears throat> okay, excuse me. So this one right here is a 360. It is a Zephyr motherboard, which let me, uh, yeah, so. I'm going to see if you guys... Alright, so let me get some light in there so you can see. Alright, so you see the see the block there. Yeah, the block is in the middle. So that is a Zephyr connection, and there's a flat piece of uh, plastic on top. Alright, so that's a Zephyr connection. Alright, so when I go look at the date, though... <clears throat> is that going to come up? The date is uh, 2008... 12-26? Hold on, let me... See. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's 10. All right, I didn't see it correctly. So it's 2008-10-26. Okay. So I said to myself, hmm, that's kind of odd. I mean, why would Microsoft manufacture a Zephyr motherboard in the year 2008 going into 2009, basically? You know, why would they do that? That's just really weird. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. Because at that point in time, this is all retro tech now. But that, and that, at that point in time, they were producing and manufacturing Falcons and Jaspers. Uh, you know, Falcons started uh, August 2007, I believe. Uh, version 1, version 2, August 2008. Jaspers, 2008. So this is actually, this motherboard is actually Falcon Jasper territory. I mean, this uh, the date on it, I'm saying. So why would they go backwards and manufacture something that's technology that wasn't really, uh, it, there was no improvements with it, you know, and because they want to keep improving the product. So that kind of threw me off a little bit, and so I dis I did disassemble this, and we're, we're going to do that on camera. All right, but first I want to plug it in, because some of you guys out there may ask, well, you know what, this happens all the time, where people just, you know, change the case on it, right? So, you know, maybe it's just a, the case is, a, it's a newer case, and it's an older motherboard, you know, one of those scenarios. Um, and I would say, yeah, you might be right, but when I checked the motherboard, uh, when I checked, when I turned the unit on and I checked the console ID and all that on the motherboard, it kind of matched up. So I'm going to show you guys right now. So let's go over to the TV here, monitor. I'm going to plug this in real quick, and I'm going to show you that this console has a matching serial number and there's a there's a beat sticker on the, the side of it too that's the way I got it all right so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in it does boot up it boots up to a um a recent dashboard up-to-date dashboard kind of not like any retro stuff all right so let's go ahead plug in the power supply oh got the wrong plug Hold on. that's the right one power supply here. There we go. And cables. Okay. Now I did clean it out and it's very, it was very dirty, you know, as you would expect. So we're going to turn it on. We, we should turn it on. Hopefully is that the, yeah, alright, let's see. Okay. It's not coming on, but it will. Hold on. Let me just make sure it's make sure everything's connected first. Okay. It's plugged in. It's plugged in. Okay. Well, ain't that a <laughs> how about that? Why is that not? Is it plugged in all the way? Can you believe this? What the? 
Okay, see, I wasn't pushing the button hard enough. That's all. Okay, here, it happens. Okay. All right, so you know, here we go. So it, it comes on. And so I want to show you guys now that it's running. I want to show you guys something here that I find interesting. You know, because I was saying, well, you know, all you got to do is just look at the the serial number, uh, the ID number on the motherboard, and you know, and then you'll know what the deal is if, if it's really a. 360 that the case has been changed out or not so we're gonna plug it in and can you you can you hear that it's kind of re re revving up there a little bit all right so let's go to yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it out of the way let me just go to system uh, let's go to console settings and system info. And so, as you guys can see, I'm going to move the camera a little closer. You can see if you can see that it is the last four digits is uh, four four zero five, and it's making a lot of noise too. It's starting to really rev up. Uh, console serial number last digits are four four zero five. You guys can see that there. There it is. Last is four four zero five. So that is the true way to check to see if your console motherboard has been switched out or they've been doing you know something else. Let me adjust this camera here. Something you know something along those lines. Okay, so and I did clean the disk drive, but I think there's a problem with it again. Yep, it's stuck again. That's a common problem with the Xbox 360, the disk, the disk drives to stick. And I mentioned that to you before, you just take a little uh, alcohol to the rubber band inside of the disk drive, uh, DVD-ROM drive, clean that down, rub it down, and it should um, loosen up any debris or dirt uh, in that. So that's stuck again. Okay. So 4405, and so we will take a look at, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug the, I'm gonna plug, oh, it's, it's still not. And you can hear it's starting to rev up. So that's a, that's a Zephyr motherboard, huh? All right, so let's go ahead and turn that off. See, I knew I had that plugged in. <laughs> right, I, I knew, I knew the uh, power supply was getting power, okay? So, so let's just go ahead and before we tear it down, we'll just go back to the serial number. And so everything is legit on this machine. You guys can see that. There it is. The last four digits is 4405. So it's the correct motherboard. Well, yeah, this this will um, take a few few minutes to tear down, okay? So it's it's the correct motherboard. And so now what I'm going to do is I am going to tear it down. And there's a story to be told with this Xbox 360. Okay, so we're getting to the good part, okay? So just, just hang in there, okay? Because there's something on this motherboard that I had never seen before. So let me grab my uh, tool here. My X 360X tool. So right here, I recommend everybody get one of these tools. This is, comes in handy all the time with these older machines. Does the job. Op open this right up. And this machine has been open too. Okay, so you would figure. Okay, so just keep in mind, like I was saying, it's a Zephyr motherboard. Uh, and the manufacturing date is uh, 2008, uh, 1026. You know, why would they manufacture a Zephyr motherboard so late in the Xbox 360 life cycle. Right? Makes you wonder. And there might be an answer on this motherboard that I'm going to show you guys. So there's that's the top. And there's the bottom. Okay. I'm going to pop this open. Hopefully this goes smoothly. Let's go ahead and pop that. And let's grab the other side here. 
careful it does 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 want to does it does want to click back in when you and I start with the clips here up the front in the front okay that pops open so this is this is coming apart very easy okay so you know that it's it's been open before when I opened it it was really dirty so it needed to be clean okay so that's open just go ahead and make sure I don't want to damage the plastic any more than it needs, you know, needs to be or should. And pop open. Okay, there we go. So bring the camera over here. Uh, camera down. Okay, so what is on this motherboard that I find very interesting? And I want to show you guys in just a second. Move some stuff out of the way. So have you guys in, I mean, let me pull this up here. Okay, here's a DVD-ROM, pull that up. Air take. Okay, so have you guys encountered something like this? You see that right there, it says DEV, D-E-V. And it has numbers uh, 02588-3. So I'm saying, wait a second, that's I never seen that sticker before on any motherboards. I mean, I have a lot of X, I have a, a lot of Xbox 360s, and I never seen this DEV on, on on the motherboards. And so that makes me wonder. Whoa, wait a second, uh, Zephyr motherboard 2008 going into 2009. Uh, and it has this sticker on it. Would that be a, a development board, so to speak? Some kind of development board that the uh, engineers were using, or something, or uh, and whatnot. You know, so that's it. Yeah, that is the sticker right there, and it has uh, another sticker that's a code bar or something. But there's the sticker on there. So, what do you guys think about this? I mean, have you encountered? Uh, these units out there, the X Xbox 360 units with um, older dates on it, you know, going into, uh, you know, I saw, I'm saying going into 2008, Zephyr, I mean, it's all, you know, and like I said, in the Xbox 360 life cycle, life cycle they were producing Falcons and uh, Jaspers. So, so that is uh, just a quick video on this system. I do think it's kind of rare, or maybe it's not rare. If you guys want to leave your comments or your suggestions on what this could be. Uh, is this a development board of some kind? You know, maybe that explains the later manufacturing date. You know, because there's really, no again, there's no reason to manufacture a Zephyr motherboard in 2008. Later on, almost 2009, is there? You know, in retrospect, you know, and in, 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 in the Xbox 360's lifespan, life cycle, you know, there's really no reason to measure, uh, manufacture that, is there? So if you guys want to leave a comment, uh, likes, I really, I really would appreciate it. And this would be the video for today. So listen, thank you so much, and uh, you guys have a good day. Take care. Bye.